Good morning. Uh, today's topic is IPv6 extension headers. So these are the outlines of today's presentation. First of all, uh, introduction about IPv4 and IPv6. Then what is the benefit of IPv6 or IPv4? In next slide, we will see uh, header format of IPv4 and IPv6. And uh, after that, we will see IPv6 extension headers and references. So this is the uh, introduction part which I have covered in my first slide, uh, first uh, uh, presentation that IPv6 is of having 128 bit addresses and have a fixed header format and there is no header checksum. Along with that, uh, instead of in place of options filled uh, present in IPv4, there is extension headers in IPv6. And IPv4, uh, there is no hop by hop segmentation procedure uh, followed in IPv6. Uh, in, instead of, there is uh, end to end segmentation uh, done in IPv6. So these are some benefits of IPv6 or IPv4 like uh, expanded addressing capabilities, then simplif simplified header format and improved support for extensions and options. And there is one more uh, very important uh, uh, capability that flow labeling capability and authentication and privacy capabilities. So uh, IPv6 is more uh, uh, sec uh, secure than IPv4. These are the header format of IPv4 and IPv6. This we can see that there is a more number of uh, fields and there are very less number of fields. So processing at uh, routers will take less time. So now uh, this is the main topic of this presentation IPv6 extension headers. In IPv6 optional internet layer information is encoded in separate headers that are needed for processing of the IPv6 packet. There are a small number of such extension headers each identified by a distinct next header value. An IPv6 packet may carry 0, 1 or more extension headers each identified by the next header field of the preceding header. These are the three examples. This is first one, second one and third one. This is the uh, first one example that IPv6 header next header value is TCP. So this is a TCP header plus data. In second example IPv6 header contain next header value routing. So this is routing header and inside routing header there is next header value is TCP. So this is TCP header plus data. In third example IPv6 header uh, next header value is routing and in, inside routing header the next header value is a fragment and inside fragment header the next header value is TCP and this is fragment of TCP header plus data. So we can say that next header value may be 0 or maybe 1 or uh, 2, 3, maybe uh, up to uh, six, uh, 6 values. Or a full implementation of IPv6 includes implementation of the following extension headers or hop by hop options, routing, uh, fragment, destination options, authentication, ES, ESP. So these are the options of uh, header ex extension header order like first is IPv6 header then how by how option header, destination option header, uh, this is single asterisk. I will uh, clarify why, why we use this single asterisk over here then routing header fragment header, authentication header, ESP, ESP uh, that is stand for encapsulating security payload, then destination option header with uh, two asterisks and upper layer header. So uh, first asterisk uh, for destination option header uh, shows that these are the options to be processed by the first destination that appears in the IPv6 destination address field. And second asterisk that is that uh, that means uh, this destination option header processed only by the final destination of the packet. Next is this is a hop by hop option header or uh, this is same as destination option uh, their header uh, field is uh, structure is same. This is used to carry optional information that must be examined by every node along the packet's delivery path. These are their fields next header header extension length and options, how by how options, destination option header. This is the routing header, this is the routing header field, uh, routing header is used by an IPv6 source to list one or more intermediate nodes to be visited on the way to a packet's destination. This plays same role as source routing header in IPv4. These are their 
uh, an adaptive header fits. This is fragment header. The fragment header is used by an IPv6 source to send a packet larger than would fit in the path empty to its destination. The authentication header. Authentication header is used to provide connectionless integrity and data origin authentication for IP datagrams and to provide protection against replay attacks. ESP and encryption security payload is aimed for confidentiality. ESP uh, header is a result of an encryption process performed by the sending mode. Authentication in ESP is optional. There are two implementation modes of ESP. One is ESP in transport mode and uh, uh, ESP in turn mode. We can see uh, differences between both of them. These are the references. And thank you.